Uh, in my, I think that, in, in my opinions, I mean, I was using the safety incisions. Now with the zone specific cannula, with the flexion of around 40 to 60 degrees of flexion, it won't deviate to the posterior side. So you can always, you can try, make sure that the needles are coming yet. We just anchor it to your posterior incision or a posterior lateral incision. So uh, normally I don't do that. I make this uh, posterior one always, you do an all inside. So for the body, you can make the inside of technique and make a small incision in the middle. Then with the help of the probes, you just visualize and take off the all the needles. So it doesn't make a, uh, you don't need to make it a big incision and uh, uh, spend time in exploring the uh, postromedial compartment. So this is how you take it out and do the repair of your entire meniscus of uh, uh, medial meniscus. This is how you uh, inside out stitches finally. You do the sliding knots or a simple knots, it depends upon your uh, experience. If you are a shoulder surgeon, I tend to do a lot of sliding knots so that it, it adds a more value. And this is the final repair of that particular meniscus. You can see that even though it looks a old meniscus chair, but after the entire repair, it looks a robust repair, it looks very good.